Are you gonna mm. try for a girl? Am I leaking me? When is baby number two? He was trying to get me pregnant. It's literally online it's like, bullying. Oh, I didn't know pregnancy was a fashion show. Did it affect your relationship? It's totally different. Definitely, like everything definitely changed. My body had changed. Like, what is going on, Geo? Hey guys. You wanted to do the intro too. <laughs> <laughs> What's it's going Naka on? Naka and Dominic. Guys, this one didn't want to go to sleep. Yeah. So he's so... here joining us today. He's in the video with us. Mm, all right, Say guys. hi. Hello. The first question, mate. All right. Did you have postpartum symptoms after pregnancy? Love you guys we love you too thank you so much i sure did it was mm. too much you had to lean back for this reply the first six weeks i really didn't think ah. of <laughs> hey geo he knows too he's yeah. like i know you went through postpartum the first six weeks you guys you don't want me to answer the question <laughs> want to go to daddy <laughs> yeah hold the food he wants you to hold him you see that you after everything i did for you geo the first six weeks mates they were so hard i literally did not think i was gonna make it i was in so much pain my body had changed like it was just it was too much you guys i'm not gonna go into details but i just didn't feel like myself and being thrown a baby onto me because at the hospital you guys they did not show me how to do anything they literally just like gave my son to me and they were like here you mm. figure it out figure out how to breastfeed on your own figure it out how to do everything Everything on your own like it was just bad news after bad news he kept telling me like I might be at risk at this risk at that oh um you won't be able to breastfeed your baby because he's gonna eat too much he's too big it's not funny Gio <laughs> so it was just like horrible so I was extremely down I would cry a lot but I'm really happy it's not funny Gio you don't laugh at, me at these things so it was nice that I had really good sis support system so I'm really grateful for that I think it was also a lot to do with your recovery Mm -hmm. of your c-sections and the painkillers and mm -hmm. all these things and i think a lot of the physical affected the mental yeah you know because she wanted to do things she wanted to not be in pain but yeah. like anything that she tried to do she wanted to do a lot of things by herself but she just couldn't because I of couldn't. the pain right yeah. i've seen it get way better yeah i think I definitely after six weeks after six weeks that's why they, yeah. they talk about that six weeks you guys yeah. you need that six weeks to get yourself together Okay, next one. What has been the most challenging as new parents? Were you surprised by it? A hundred percent. I used to think babies, look at Gio guys. He's like <laughs> smiling and drooling. I used to think babies were like little dolls, you know? I would be like, oh, it's gonna be like having a doll. Oh, no, no, no. It's literally, you're taking care of a tiny little humans. Like Gio mm. really, like his he life. He literally needs you. Yeah, it yeah. depends on me. Like he can't do anything yeah. without me. He knows and too. He knows, yeah. that's right. You better Side recognize. Note, you guys notice how strong his neck has gotten? Yeah. Like obviously he's still holding him, but like it's been a big improvement mm -hmm. lately that we've noticed, which is yeah, nice look progress. At look at him. Now I'm he can proud chill like of this. You, Gio? Without basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He needs me and I'm breastfeeding. So it's like. I have to plan my days, my hours, everything according to Gio. Cause now like he's my number one focus. And if he doesn't eat, if I, we don't change him, he's in jeopardy, right Gio? And he knows it. So it's been challenging, but it's also been rewarding because when he smiles, it's like the best thing in the world. And now so, he's starting to laugh too. Yeah. So like, he's starting like to try to giggle. Yeah. And his smiles. I think, I think when he started to smile, it was a big, mm -hmm. like that he's trying to communicate his feelings, mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. Okay, how different is life now that your parents? It's totally different. Like our priorities are life. different. Yeah. I feel like the things that I used to like before, they have no interest for me. That's, like, that's you know? Yeah. And like, I feel like you just have to shift your priorities around. Like, mm. like working out. I can't go to the gym anymore. So now like I do home workouts and I go uh, based on his schedule. You're more focused on your family. Like my number mm -hmm. one focus now is like trying to spend time with when she was sleeping, me and Dominic trying to spend time mm -hmm. with each other. Like we never had to do that before. It used to just be me and you. And yeah. now it's like the three of yeah. us. And especially yeah. as a newborn too, right? Like obviously priorities as a parent is different for newborns or like mm -hmm. when he's going to be older. Like now as a newborn, the whole focus on him because you yeah. need to like, he basically needs you to survive, right? Yeah. And I think you're not your life revolves around him but you're definitely your schedule right like if you try mm -hmm. to plan something it's very hard to plan ahead of time because you don't know you know uh, like, let's say for example you want to plan to go somewhere uh, my milk is flowing i feel what? it it's flowing Ooh. Mm. A new stash, stash just came in, Gio. <laughs> he's smiling. He's ready. Yeah, he's ready to drink. Oh, yeah, Lord. It, and then if you go somewhere, you know, you have to make sure you have all the things. You know, like the yeah. nurse, like the, uh, the life jacket I bring, the, the diaper bag. Like, you got to bring all these things. And 
you have to expect the unexpected and you mm-hmm. have to be prepared that yeah. in case something happens. That's why I want to go to the gym at like 9 a.m. I don't even set a time anymore. It's just mm-hmm. like whenever I got time, if he's sleeping and Naka's okay and, and we don't vice work versa. out together anymore. Yeah, it's like he so goes, he comes back and then I go. So whenever there's time, like, you just pit the things yeah. in. Yeah. So life is different because he is now our number one priority. Yeah. Where is it? Gio, people want to know, do you sleep more at night or in the morning? This guy Tell the, the day. people. Turn around. Tell the people, tell everyone, Gio. He doesn't, he don't want to. He, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this distraction is too much. Yeah, so, he's too much. Definitely, Giovanni does have a circadian rhythm that he notices day and night. Mm-hmm. So during the day, he doesn't, he obviously takes his, his naps here mm-hmm. and there, but they're not long and they're not as frequent as at night. During the day, you can't really put him to sleep. He's just no. going to kind of snap three minutes yeah. and wake up. And he, at night, he sleeps, but at 8 a.m., as soon as the sun is up, Chatty he's up patty too, yeah, he yeah. talks and like he's like giggling and he waits till I wake up and mm. if I don't wake up, he like, ah! He makes you wake up. He like screams like, wake up! Yeah. But he doesn't cry, he just like yells at me to wake up, which I noticed he did, mm. so. And and at night too, he's like, if, well, obviously he's gonna wake up to eat or yeah. to like change his diaper and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but he'll go back to sleep after yeah, that really knacker feed. But during the day, if he wakes up from his nap, he doesn't go back to bed. No. Like he's ready to go and he's we play, play with him and yeah. yeah, all these things. But at night, like he knows it's, it's sleep time. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you for that. Mm-hmm. What's being a first-time mother like? Ooh, it has its ups and See, he, downs. He's yawning right now. He's sleepy. What's the ups and downs? The ups is like when he smiles and he's in a good mood, and I, you know, when we talk, have conversation. Me and Gio talk every single day. Like he warms my heart. But then the downs, it's like sometimes I feel like I'm not doing a good job or like I can't understand him, so I get worried. And it's just like you always feel like, am I doing enough? Like, do something I, wrong. Oh, is this you? Am I leaking me? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, me! <laughs> good, yo, good thing the camera cuts right there. Oh shoot, guys! I told you that 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 new the flow was coming in. Yeah, mate, Gio's gotta eat. You gonna have a good meal? Yeah, you smiling? <laughs> yeah. You gonna have a good meal? Yeah. Soon, I always feel like I'm not doing enough, or I'm like I'm not doing good enough. But I guess that's just a part of being a mom. You know, you always want the best for your child. I need to start being more confident in mm-hmm. myself as a mother. That's what it feels like to be a mom. The uncertainty of mm. everything. And I think everything's new, obviously, yeah, right? So really like. New you don't necessarily know what's right what's wrong mm-hmm. and you and obviously you learn as you go but mm-hmm. to me it looks like you're natural oh thanks it looks like you're doing extremely <laughs> well a good job thanks you too daddy thank you mm-hmm. i guys sorry for the quick interruption someone passed out do you think giovanni looks more like you or dominate this is an infamous question Yo, this some is people the, think Gio looks like him century. And other people think he looks like me. Um, I think Gio is a mix of me and you. Like he has features mm. from me and features from obviously Dominic. So right now it's hard to be like, oh, he looks like that guy. Oh, he looks like that. Mm. His they face change. changes he's, he's changed, every yeah. single week. It's growing. It's changing as he grows up. Mm-hmm. You can definitely see both me yeah. and and you. I and see him. myself and I also see you mm-hmm. in, in him. I, I think you definitely see both of us like in him, mm-hmm. which is pretty cool. Yeah. And keep in mind, me personally, I don't look at all what I looked like when I was a baby. Mm-hmm. Like my entire Dominic I, actually looked changed. like Giovanni. I looked so much like Giovanni, right? Yeah, <laughs> which is funny because so Giovanni looks like, like me. Well, me and you, but yeah, yeah. I think he looks like me. When you look at a picture of me when I was a baby, it literally looks it, like Gio. Yeah, it's very similar to me as a baby, but yeah. with you. Yeah, that's why we say like it's, it's a perfect <laughs> mixture. Yeah. Yeah, so it's so funny because I'm like, Dom, was I always with you? <laughs> Your whole life? Yeah, soulmates. Yeah, That's what so, happens with soulmates. Yeah, it's funny. Mm. How overwhelming is it to become parents? Did it affect your relationship? Definitely. Like, everything definitely changed mm-hmm. for the better. Mm-hmm. I think... I was like, huh? <laughs> What? What's going on, mate? I mean, I, I can think... speak for myself, though. Like, our relationship, our marriage has definitely improved. Mm-hmm. Like, just for me personally, like, attraction, affection, everything has ramped up. And it's like you see your wife in a different light and you oh, see her see. in a different way that you didn't see before. So that like you have all the aff- affection, attraction, love that you had from before. And then you add the motherhood on top and the newborn and everything, like, encompassed into one. It's, like, game changer. Oh, me. That's who Dominic literally said that to me the other day and he like looks at me he's like you're so beautiful and i'm like mm. with my belly hanging like <laughs> and he's like yeah so it's like it's nice that although my body's changed and i'm going through all these changes i have such a supportive husband that you know encourages me makes me feel beautiful and especially being on social media i've talked about it before how like mates 
it's we disgusting. I get dragged Dis like the hate it's nice to have like a supportive partner that makes me feel beautiful especially when I was pregnant when like I felt like everyone was against me now that I gave birth I've talked about it on my channel before how like people are making fun of me for it's changing it's, literally online it's like bullying. oh she used to have such a nice body and now she gained weight I'm like bro I gave birth two months ago just like what do you want me to do you know yeah. so it's just like I didn't know pregnancy was a fashion show I didn't yeah. know we we're supposed to be giddy 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 I, like I don't even want to talk or get into it because yeah. I'm gonna get too heated but the vile disgusting things that people even not I, I can't even fathom how those thoughts can yeah. enter your head and then go out to type them but anyways what um it's that? definitely it can be overwhelming at the beginning because everything's new especially mm -hmm. i think as first-time parents you're kind of just like dropped and everything changes right yeah in an instant basically right so mm -hmm. and you have to have strong communication yeah Who you need to mates? have a strong partner yeah uh, for sure yeah, yeah your husband has to understand the things that you're going through with me i'm someone that i'm very vocal like if i'm going through something like i talk about it and i tell you but if you're someone that holds it in don't hold it in you're gonna mm. like you're gonna get a divorce baby you need to speak up like let it out yeah we can see how like some people break up like yeah, yeah. it's not a joke you guys especially like you see like times right now where he's sleeping mm -hmm. uh when you know people say baby like sleep when the baby sleeps like obviously yes mm -hmm. but there are times you need to take that time for your marriage and like mm -hmm. discuss things that you went through or like if mm -hmm. you want to change some things or like something happened or like how you feel or if you're down those are the times too to have your alone time to talk about things right but like sleep when you when you sleep you we we don't do that like if, yeah yeah, like for that. us this is what we do i spend the nights with Gio and i breastfeed him right in the morning when i wake up i breastfeed Gio. he's fully he's good dominic takes the time to like play with him and if i'm still tired go i go sleep, to sleep yeah. you know and then i'm good so it's just like it's like you, a tag team yeah you know like you sleep when the baby sleep mm. you got a man for a reason mm. let the man take care of the baby it, like in wrestling you know like when they tag each other yeah. you go in the ring, and then like the other one's waiting and resting and then mm -hmm. you go back and forth so um if you do feel overwhelmed with it's overwhelming for you mm -hmm. you and you can, have a partner you can definitely do it though it's not something that that you can't do if mm -hmm. you feel overwhelming that feeling is temporary because everything is new or for mm -hmm. us it was right yeah. so once you learn I feel that feeling of overwhelmness is I think uh, overwhelmness it leaves right yeah it leaves now we're yeah. like it's because you get good used thing. to things definitely adapt very quickly mm -hmm. so we got this question so many times when is baby number two are you gonna mm. try for a girl when, when are you G having no, when's no, no, no. you having a sister uh mate I don't know. Maybe in a couple of years. Yeah, I think we're gonna focus. Next thing you know, I'm pregnant. On you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we gotta be careful. Uh, there's a. Oh my. I mean, there's a couple of times. You know, Dominic is. I'm not even gonna get into it. This guy was just like, oh, what if we Let's do it? Like okay. <laughs> this one, he was trying to get me pregnant, and I was just like, you, we can't do that, Dominic. I'm gonna get pregnant, but you don't get your period. <sighs> Whatever happens, happens. You know? <laughs> But hell no, no definitely it's not something that we're gonna plan like yeah. right now we're gonna focus on enjoying our time with joe mm -hmm. right i think that's the main thing too you want to enjoy your time with the newborn because mm -hmm. your baby once he grows like that this period that we have as often as sometimes it tests your patience is the only time he will ever be like that in the rest of his life yeah alone right? exactly and at that age and these moments and like these are the moments where you really build that bond right? and i was so, telling Dominic, i was like i'm so happy with one baby why would i want to have another one you yeah know, like, and that's a I question i, I guess for, for parents out there when you get your second child when you plan to have your second child how is it like, yeah i wonder if i'm gonna love him the way i or her yeah i think if we got pregnant it would be another boy a lot of the time people that they like get boom, boom. the same gender yeah. as let's say if you have a boy you get another boy mm. it's rare that you have a boy and a girl so that's mm. what i think we're gonna and, see are we yeah <laughs> so <laughs> It was actually not good about it at first. She's like, I think I could have another one. I was like, oh, okay. It's that just, was, I don't want to think about the pregnancy. Yeah, you don't want to think about but the pregnancy. But we're going to do you, it you differently. It. Yeah. It's like anything in life. Life, you'll get thrown challenges mm -hmm. all the time. You know, when you fall, you just can get back up. Because it's just right? like, I look at Gio and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe. Mm. I, you know, like, it was so worth it yeah. to have Gio. So. And, and you surprise yourself how much things you can get through. Yeah. You know, like, you're a lot stronger than you think. So, and we have each other, mate. Exactly. We can. We can do anything we set our mind to mm -hmm. teamwork. teamwork makes a dream work mm -hmm. anyways, anyways guys, guys comment subscribe yeah Toodaloo. talk to you soon